Finbos, Afrikaans pronunciation, Phi, NBOS meaning fine-leaved plants is a small belt of natural shrubland or heathland vegetation located in the Western Cape and Eastern Cape provinces of South Africa. This area is predominantly winter rainfall coastal and mountainous areas with a Mediterranean climate. The Finbos ecoregion is within the Mediterranean forests, woodlands, and scrub biome. In fields related to biogeography, Finbos is known for its exceptional degree of biodiversity and endemism, consisting about 80% species of the Cape Floral Kingdom where nearly 6,000 of them are endemic. This land has faced severe threats and still does, but due to the many economic uses conservation efforts are being made to help restore it. Overview and history The word finbos is often confusingly said to mean fine bush in Afrikaans, as boss means bush. Typical finbos foliage is ericoid rather than fine. The term, in its pre Afrikaans, Dutch form, finbosch, was recorded by Noble as being in casual use in the late 19th century. In the early 20th century, John Buse referred to southwestern or Cape region of Machia or finbosch. He said, in this well-known region where the rain occurs in winter and the summers are more or less dry, the dominant vegetation is of a sclerophyllous type and there is little or no natural grassland, though there are many grasses." He also refers to a high degree of endemism in the grasses in that region. Elsewhere he speaks of the term as applied by the inhabitants of the Cape to any sort of small woodland growth that does not include timber trees. In the current vernacular, this still is the effective sense of the word. However, in the technical, ecological sense, the constraints are more demanding. In the latter half of the 20th century, finbos gained currency as the term for the distinctive vegetation of the southwestern Cape. Topic: <laughs> Cape Floral Kingdom. Topic. Finbos, which grows in a 100 to 200 km wide coastal belt stretching from Clan William on the west coast to Port Elizabeth on the southeast coast, forms part of the Cape Floral Kingdom, where it accounts for half of the surface area and 80% of the plant species. The finbos in the western regions is richer and more varied than in the eastern regions of South Africa. Of the world's six floral kingdoms, this is the smallest and richest per unit of area. The Holarctic Kingdom, in contrast, incorporates the whole of the northern hemisphere north of the tropics. The diversity of finbos plants is extremely high, with over 9,000 species of plants occurring in the area, around 6,200 of which are endemic, i.e. growing nowhere else in the world. South Africa S. Western Cape has a very high species with one estimate finding diversity 8,550 species in 89,000 square kilometres which is higher than that estimated for Malayan forests, 7,900 species in 132,000 square kilometres. It has been claimed that it exceeds even the richest tropical rainforest in South America, including the Amazon. Of the Ericas, over 600 occur in the Finbos Kingdom, while only two or three dozen have been described in the rest of the world. This is in an area of 46,000 square kilometers by comparison. The Netherlands, with an area of 33,000 square kilometers, has 1,400 species, none of them endemic. Table Mountain in Cape Town supports 2,200 species, more than the entire United Kingdom. Thus, although the finbos covers only 6% of the area of southern Africa, it has half the species on the subcontinent, and in fact has almost one in five of all African plant species so far described. Five main river systems traverse the Cape Floral Kingdom, the Oliphants River of the Western Cape, the Berg River which drains the West Coast Forelands Plain stretching from the Cape Flats to the Oliphants, the Breed, which is the largest river on the Cape, the Oliphants River Southern Cape, Goritz and the Groot Rivers which drain the Little Karoo Basin and the South Coast Forelands, and the Bavian Skloof and Gamtus Rivers to the east. <laughs> Flora The most conspicuous components of the flora are evergreen sclerophyllous plants, many with ericoid leaves and grassal habit, as opposed to timber forest. 
Several plant families are conspicuous in finbos. The Proteaceae are prominent, with genera such as Protea, Leucospermum, the pincushions, and Leucodendron, the silver tree and cone bushes. Proteas are represented by many species and are prominent in the landscape, generally with large striking flowers, many of which are pollinated by birds, and others by small mammals. Most of these do not have anything like ericoid leaves, and nor do most Ramnaceae, Fabaceae, or Geraniaceae. Finbos Ericaceae include more species of Erica than all other regions combined. They are popularly called heaths and are generally smaller plants bearing many small, tubular or globular flowers and ericoid leaves. Restionaceae also occur in greater variety in finbos than anywhere else, their species are superficially grass-like. Many of them grow in wet areas such as seasonal marshes and spongy basins in the sources of mountain streams, but others grow in decidedly arid conditions. Depending on the locality and the aspects under discussion, several other families have equal claim to being characteristic, including Asteraceae, Rutaceae, and Iridaceae. More than 1,400 bulb species occur among the finbos, of which 96 are gladiolus and 54 lacanalia. Areas that are dominated by renosterbos Elytropapus rhinocerotus, Asteraceae are known as renosterveld Afrikaans for rhinoceros velt. Topic: <laughs> Ecoregions. Topic. The Finbos area has been divided into two very similar ecoregions, the lowland Finbos below 300 meters above sea level on the sandy soil of the west coast, and the montane Finbos of the Cape Fold Belt. The lowland Finbos and Renosterveld experiences regular winter rainfall, especially to the west of Cape Agulhas. The ecoregion has been subdivided into nine areas, the west coast forelands from the Cape Flats to the Oliphants River Western Cape, the warm Bakavald Basin around the town of Ceres, the Elgin Valley around the town of Elgin, the Sandy Agulhas Plain on the coast, the Breed River Valley around the town of Worcester, the south coast forelands from Caledon west to Mossel Bay, the southeastern end of the Little Karoo, Lankloof Valley, and the southeastern coast forelands west from Sisikama to Port Elizabeth. The flora of the lowlands contains a high number of endemic species, and tends to favor larger plants than those growing on the hillier areas. They include the larger Restionaceae such as species of Elegia, Thamnocortis, and Wildenauia and Proteas such as King Protea, Protea sinoroides, and Blushing Bride Seroria florida. Particular types of lowland finbos include the shrubs and herbs of the coastal sand dunes, the mixture of ericoids and restoids with thickets of shrubs such as matinus, and other Celestraceae, Cideroxylons and other Sapotaceae, and Rhus and other Anacardiaceae on the coastal sands, the classic finbos of the sand plains of the west coast forelands, and the Agulhas Plain, the grassy finbos of the hillier and wetter areas of the south and southeastern coast forelands, areas where finbos and Renosterveld are mixed, coastal Renosterveld on the west and south coast forelands, and the inland Renosterveld of the drier inland Little Karoo and Warm Bakavald. The area is also home to a large number of endemic creatures that have adapted to life in this area, such as the monkey beetles which pollinate Ixia veritiflora. Endemic species of fish in the five river systems occur in the area, too. Endemic reptiles and amphibians include a number of tortoises and the chameleon like arum frog. The montane Finbos and Renosterveld is the area above 300 metres, a total of 45,000 square kilometres of the Cape Fold Mountains. The same level of floral variety, including all three characteristic Finbos families, is found there, but Eric is predominant. Because the higher and wetter areas are more protected and contain important water sources, the original flora is more intact than in the lowlands, but agriculture and global warming are still threats. The region includes the mountains in the west from the Cape Peninsula to the Kubakavold Mountains, the south coast hinterland from Elgin to Port Elizabeth, the mountains north of the Little Karoo from Langsburg to Willowmore, and the Inselberg Hills within the Little Karoo. About half of these areas are originally Finbos, and about half are Renosterveld. Many different microclimates occur, so the flora changes from west to east, and also varies with altitude up the hillsides away from the coast and according to compass direction. Lower elevations are covered with protea finbos, with ericas taking over further up. Plant species include pincushions leucospermum. The wildlife includes a number of endemic bees, beetles, horseflies, and ants, and birds such as cape sugarbirds and the orange-breasted sunbird. 
Many of these birds and insects are important and specific pollinators for the finbos, such as the mountain pride butterfly which only visits red flowers such as Disa uniflora and pollinates 15 different species. Larger animals include antelopes, particularly Cape racebok common diker and clipspringer The extinct blue antelope and quagga were also finbos natives. Economic uses Rooibos and honeybush are of economic importance, grown and harvested in large quantities in the Cedarburg area, and providing important exports. Restios continue to be used for thatching, as they have for hundreds or even thousands of years. Proteas and other floral species are grown in many areas and their flowers harvested for export. In many areas with Mediterranean climates, finbos species have become popular garden plants, in particular aloes and geraniums, and in cooler regions are used as window plants. A very large number of finbos plant species are used in traditional medicine, and while only a tiny proportion have as yet been subjected to formal testing, many have already been identified as having medicinal properties. Threats and conservation The Finbos is the region of South Africa most affected by invasive alien species which collectively cover around 10% of the entire country. The most common invasive plants are wattles and hakeas, native to Australia, and pines native to Europe and the Californian coast of the United States. Pines had been introduced to South Africa by the 19th century and the wattles were imported into the mid-1870s to stabilize sand dunes. In 1997 it was estimated that invasion caused the Finbos region to decline in value by 750 million dollars per year. The Working for Water (WFW) program was started in 1995 by the Department of Water Affairs and Forestry to control these invasive species which were shown to sequester 9.95% of usable surface water runoff. Since then, over 1,000.00 hectares of land have been cleared of invasive species while providing jobs to around 20,000 people per year, most of which are women and unskilled workers. Systematic monitoring of WU's progress is lacking but there is anecdotal evidence that endemic silver peas have returned to Table Mountain after being thought extinct. Research and conservation topic See also topic Heath habitat Shrubland topic References topic topic External links topic Finbos Paradise of South Africa Images of Finbos Western Cape School Network on Finbos Protea Atlas Project with excellent information and images. Fauna and Flora International's work on Finbos Finbos Photography Organized Taxonomically Conservation and Land Restoration Project at Terapy, SA Montaigne Finbos and Renosterville. Terrestrial Ecoregions. World Wildlife Fund. Data on invasive species in South Africa WFW Program Official Page